Thielen Boyle, 1976, um, developed the Monte Carlo type approach for pricing options. Um, and this approach has proved to be extremely popular um, for pricing and has, um, if you like, um, produced its own branch of interest within finance. Um, Monte Carlo was um, originally a technique developed um, to simulate uh, experiments in physics and the Manhattan Project um, apparently also um, was developed with use of simulation and um, sometimes the logic of not doing the physical experiment but doing a virtual experiment has a lot of uh, merit right so um, okay so we, we'll see an implementation then I've set out a Monte Carlo type um, experiment here um, the original source code I took from the Velopta website that I think is gone but I still have uh, the code um, I did make some small changes in that code and uh, to see those changes you could um, look at this video here it's it's a little bit labor intensive um, given that I kind of meander to, through the estimation in Visual Studio I've uh, taken the header file from that original code and included that header file as and the source file in a single script and that kind of helps us here um, because um, it allows us to in one um, set of 135 lines or so uh, produce uh, code for running the estimation. So the idea here is we'll run a Black-Scholes model um, and we'll also run um, a, a Monte Carlo type uh, model as well to estimate the value of an option. Um, okay, so to get things running here, let's just first of all just run the code, see what the output looks like and then make some commentary on it. So we've used uh, two ways to estimate the value of a call and a put. Um, we estimate using a uh, closed form. The closed form that we use is black shoals. This is the value of the call. This is the value of the put. And the Monte Carlo, the, the true value of like comes from the closed form. The closed form is the black shoals. And the simulation is the Monte Carlo. So this is for again the call, this is for the put. These values are true and then we see the level of error. Uh, the number of uh, simulations, the number of pathways in the simulation is a million. So one zero two zero three zero four five six zeros. We can that's a parameter input we have in uh, the main here. If we Talk this down to four, or let's say, let's um, using the scientific notation down to three and run that. Then the estimation will be a little bit faster, uh, or should be a little bit faster. We're only using a thousand pathway simulations, and you can see the level of error increases where the true value again coming from black shoals for the call and the put, and for the simulation, um, we're relatively far here with just a thousand simulations or pathways and um, the value of the simulation is quite a bit off the the true value or the black shows value for the European option if we want to increase the level of accuracy here we can put that up to let's say eight or nine so that would be a billion let's just try that and I might pause it's now 2128 let's run that this is the online server of course so the estimation is taking place okay so basically we have too much too much memory is going to be used the project is supported okay so can we get let's go down to seven so that's uh, 10 million runs in the estimation it may work, looks as if it is. Uh, okay, it has. So we have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 10 million um, runs here. And the level of error is uh, 
hasn't improved that dramatically. We can do it again just to see. So zero zero seven six for the for the call and zero zero one one. Let's do that again and see. Do we get we each time you rerun the Monte Carlo? Of course, the values are never exactly the same. So that's something that you can go back and check. The look smaller here this instance. Let's run again and see what the output is. And for the Monte Carlo, again, 10 million uh, runs in the Monte Carlo and the close form, the true, using these parameters of S, K, T, R, Q, and V, the black shoulder value is 104506 for the call, 557 for the put using black shoulders, and the simulation, the Monte Carlo estimation is 1045 uh, for the call and 557 again it is relatively accurate and um, it's also relatively fast if we look at this estimation we it doesn't take a huge amount of time it's uh, and this is something of course that you could do on your iPad because uh, when you and you can edit from your iPad or from a tablet and uh, again the error is not that large the numbers have changed again they're not exactly the same and that's one of the issues with monte carlo that when you produce these type of estimations each successive simulation will produce a slightly different level of outcome again if we we can speed that up um and we can if we bring that down to a thousand you can see the level of error will be much more dramatic here Okay, and okay, so we're 40 cents off, or virtually 50 cents and 44 cents here, whereas before it was much smaller. Okay, so I'm going to push that back up to the million range, seems to be good, seems to produce a level of accuracy that is um, probably tolerable within any kind of uh, professional or industry application. Here, you're two cents out, perhaps we could go up to seven. So delete again, try seven and run one more time. Um, so with 10 million, 10 million runs, the level of error is less than one cent. And perhaps that's the level of accuracy that uh, probably is desirable in a professional or industry type setting. Okay, so to look at the estimation here, we're doing two things. We're uh, first of all, we're outputting the close form. The close form is the black shoals and black shoals put. Um, that estimation for the black shoals model just involves getting the normal uh, cumulative probability and using the Boole's rule here to estimate the uh, prob the the equivalent of norm dist in Excel, and then. The Black Shoals implementation then we estimate in a usual fashion D1 and D2. We've incorporated a dividend uh, yield here in this estimation and we have D2 and then we invoke put call parity for estimating the value of the put. So if we estimate the call we've got to uh, include in a C for the put call character and then if it's not C we the else the value of else is the put and that's given by put call parity and also we've adopted that for dividend yield then for the Monte Carlo estimation uh, we have to generate random numbers um, and the random number estimation uh, is an important part of um, generating. So we're trying to generate a value between uh, 0 and 1. And we then um, take the normal, the, the inverse uh, normal distribution. We've, and we use Box Muller uh, to produce that um, estimation. Right, and that's not unusual in the Monte Carlo type setting. And um, then we output uh, the value of the black 
Scholes call, sorry, the Black Scholes simulation of the Monte Carlo, and also for the putt as well. So that's how we get these results here. So I'm going to leave a link to the code. Um, so I'm going to share this code, and um, I'll leave that in the video clip, just underneath the video clip in YouTube. So I'll copy that and leave that clip available uh, for further reference.